in the comments here. I want to talk about this war between men and women. Peace, Lakeisha. What's up with you? Always one of the first ones to speak. What's up with it? Peace, Stephanie. Peace, Shana. Welcome in, family. Welcome in. I'm about to say something, family. And I want all of y'all to really think about this. And I want y'all to help me share this message, too. Tag people. Uh, share this with whoever you talk to. If you own anybody else's live today, make sure you mention they got to come and watch this video. Okay? Uh, I want everybody to hear this, man. So uh, make sure y'all sharing this and, like I said, commenting and things of that nature. Um, I think we've all noticed that there's a war between men and women, right? A whole bunch of men versus women stuff. Uh, men de declaring to go their own way. Women saying they don't need a man. Uh, women feeling like men ain't shit. Men feeling like modern women um, are, are the same, worth, worth about the same. Um, We've reduced each other's values to next to nothing, to just sexual organs. Um, and, and it's got to stop because um, none of us are going to get what we want by that. Our children won't get what they want and need. We don't want to be contributing to something that years from now is going to be studied and realize what destroyed black people. And, and really, this is going on multiracial. Um, so what destroyed families as you know it. We will, they'll be reading about us and we'll be the ones who contributed to it. And what I want to try to say is we got to see this early and now. Okay, family? 20 month subscriber anniversary. That is amazing, Lakeisha. Stephanie said, exactly. That's why I'm stressing after, uh, or after I left my ex. Wow. We have to end this war between men and women. <clears throat> I, I, I'm not going to deny that I'm not going to deny any of you your experiences. You may have had bad experiences with men. And fellas, you may have had bad experiences with women. I'm not trying to deny you on any of that. So I believe you when you say men ain't shit. I believe that you truly believe that. I, tru I truly believe you've had so many encounters that were negative um, with men that <clears throat> you truly believe that now. Just like I believe men when they say, man, ain't no more good women out here. I, I, I get the sentiment. 100% I do. But I want you all to think about something, okay? As, as many of you on here that has heard this uttered, ain't no good women no more. Women ain't shit. I mean, men ain't shit. These, are, these basically mean the same thing. All right? In essence. All right, so think about this, family. For every one of you who can say men ain't shit, for every one of you who can say there's no more good women in the world, I want you to, for one moment, zoom out a little bit because you're focused on your, your, your sexual counterpart. I want you to zoom out for a moment and focus on men and women both. Who is loyal anymore? Who, who is faithful anymore? Many of you ladies, as many men who have wronged you, lied to you, betrayed you, think about the women in your circle too. Haven't you been betrayed by them as well? Just really think about this. As hard as it is to find a good man, isn't it that hard to find a friend that you can trust and believe in with all your might? I see you guys constantly let each other down. Talk about each other behind your backs. Say things you wouldn't say to each other. Things that you know you probably don't even mean in the moment. Steal each other, man. Steal from each other. Hate on each other. I think humans as we know it has, has really lost a lot of their morals. And it's not men. It's not women. For every man, if you think about this, as many women as you don't trust, you say they're not faithful anymore. They'll just use you. Think about the, the men in your life. Think about the men that has done you wrong. Your homeboys who betrayed you, who you realized was just using your ass. They was never really friends with you, man. They never really had your back. They turned from friend to enemy. You can understand how friends can fall apart, but how does a friend become an enemy and literally detest you and everything about you? This is the same things that happen between men and women. And so we're like, well, it's women that's bad because I had that encounter with a woman or... It's man that's bad because I had that encounter with a man, but 
truthfully, men and women, man, we need to grow up. And if we get locked in on it's a woman problem, it's a man problem, we both fail to see the actual problem. It ain't, the problem is not women. The problem is not men. The problem is, it's men and women. <laughs> you can't trust nobody no more. Everybody lie to you. You don't know who in your life for what reason. Man or woman. Friend or relationship. Or business partner. You really got to vet each and every person that come into your life nowadays. It's not built on, men are not men of their words no more. You, man, actually, they don't even they don't even uphold what they what they sign on a contract no more. Appreciate that, Barbara. We live in a world. It's like we really is in. We really are in. Uh, what's the movie with Will Smith? Uh, I am Legend. Where there's nothing but zombies around. There's no good people no more. They're, they're very few and hard to come by. They're very rare to find. Most people are fake. I, I hate to say that. I hate to say it. Most people are fake, don't even know they're fake. They just struggle with being who they are. And so they change their opinions and faces of others and don't react how they really want to react. Laugh at insults that are meant to hurt them because they don't want to confront. Talk about people behind their back because they don't have the heart to say it to them. Pretend they don't like somebody because they don't want to be the one to say, yo, you wrong about them. Watch people do shit that they know is wrong and don't tell them because they're scared to lose friendships. People just fake, man. And it's not always about what they can get from you. Sometimes it's like they just weak. Some people just weak. So you really can't trust nobody, man. And, and, and I'm not saying that to take away your hope. I'm saying what is trust? Believing that someone won't do you wrong? Like that's really no good anyway. So you really should be going off a pattern and character anyway. But it's not men and women. It's that's not the issue. Sure, dynamically, in relationships, men and women are having their issues, trying to weigh out what they think is important, what they're willing to give. Um, you can see that there's trust issues when it comes to getting in relationships for a lot of people, and that's based on the experiences they've been in. Can't deny them that. But the, that's a false dichotomy. Whenever you start saying there's no good men in the world, there ain't no more good women in the world, yo. You don't want to keep putting this into the airways. It's just not true. So, or, or it's very true. But, but the people who are saying it is only saying one side of it. So the men only see that the problem is the women. Fully neglecting that. They, that it's problems with their own homeboys, that, with men everywhere. Right? Just like we got we to gotta watch our back with a woman who we let around us. We got to watch our back with these dudes too. Everybody that's coming around you is not meaning you well. And, and for every woman who can say, hey, men ain't shit no more, they neglecting the fact that their friend just got, just got finished doing them dirty, cold-blooded, nasty work yesterday, saying shit about her behind their back she would have never thought this person would say, doing things behind her back she would have never thought they would do, go and befriending people that, that, that done hurt her before, absolutely fucked her up, and you over there friends with them. I watch y'all every day betray each other's loyalty. Um hurt each other with things y'all say and do really really seemingly having no boundaries in y'all friendships and relationships other women are hurting other women it's other women who know you got a man and they fucking with your dude anyway you cannot sit here and say the problem is men you 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 to, if you do that you completely lying about the other problem and if you don't if 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 you do that you ne then you're neglecting the problem as it is then So it's like, as a man, if I can sit here and say, man, women ain't shit, then them dudes ain't either. For every, for every woman that's a cheater, it's a dude that'll fuck your girl and don't care if she got a man. <laughs> so really, what we mad about is ain't nobody shit. Like, let's be real. Do, men, do you live in a world where other men are going to respect your relationship, so even if your girl out here trying to give it up, they won't do it, and they'll come and tell you as a man, and be like, hey, bro, I just want to put you on game. Your lady tried to holler at me. You know, of course, I know she got a man and we know we respect each other. So I just wanted to let you know so you can, you know, take care of that. So you can check that behavior. Ah, right, thank you, King. Are there any men who would do you that favor? Or are they going to 
be bumping nasties with your girl. Like, let's be real. Let's really be real. They gonna smash. <laughs> and they, they know you in a relationship. They know that's your person. They, I ain't talking about your best friend. I'm saying they could just be in the, in the neighborhood. They know you got a girl. They know that's your girl. Everybody know that's your girl. You think they care? So soon as she's slipping, they right there to fall with her. You think I'm lying? So you don't trust your girl. You don't trust your girl because you don't trust these guys out here. <laughs> you know they go, you know they trying to get at her. And because they don't give a fuck about you, your relationship. So you so you saying, baby, don't disrespect my relationship. But really, what you know is them other men who you respect don't respect your relationship. Because you know they'll fuck if she give them the chance. So you like, if anybody gonna respect my relationship, I want it to be you, the one I'm in a relationship with, right. But that mean women ain't shit. It ain't, it ain't just women, it ain't shit. It's, it's people. You understand, it's like, I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like I see it clearly. It ain't a woman problem, it's not a man problem. And as much as I would like to, to really focus on that, because I like to try to help with relationships. I've been doing that the last couple of years. But I'm discouraged, man. I'm really thinking of a different, angle a different place to take my platform because it's so convoluted it's hard to get through to people man they start thinking that you're trying to be biased now it's never a biased bone in my body i just speak to whatever i see is wrong but i really don't think that benefit people i really don't I, mean, I do think it benefits some people don't get me wrong but um you know i just see it as it's not a it's not a uh issue that can be tackled the way we're trying to tackle it we, we have to start holding each other accountable as human beings. So any, any, if we put most of the focus on the behavior of a woman, even if you're a man and you're saying, hey, I'm trying to enlighten young men out here, I get it. But what it kind of does is it creates this idea that women are inherently the problem. And to somebody who don't really know Man, they're going to take your word for it because we make, we make too much fucking sense. But we only talking about one side. If we were to broaden that and start talking about both sides, if everybody did that, there'd be, a more, there'd be more of an understanding on what it would take to, to grow. But if, if I'm going to a channel where all I'm getting is man bashing, yo, how can I see where I need to grow as a woman if I'm a woman? If, if he wrong for everything that go on, how can... How can you as a lady grow by listening to that type of content? And, and everything that that channel could be naming could be things that's wrong that men do. But if they're not also naming what you're doing too, because to be truthful, a lot of behaviors that men can do in relationships can be wrong just like women. And just like when women do negative behaviors, you got to understand it's an emotion tied to that. So there's also an emotion tied to it when a man does it. So if he cussing at you and talking to you beneath your worth and doing things of that nature, you're probably dealing with a broken heart. You're probably dealing with someone who don't really know how to express how they truly feel. You're probably dealing with somebody who's lashing out in pain. So they're, so they're calling you names. It, you knock them all the way back to their childlike state and the first thing they know how to do is just call names. But they're really, they're really hurting. To you, it's like, yo, this person calls me names. It's like, to that person, as you said something hurtful. And if you don't deal with both sides, it's to, it's, it's to act as if he's doing these things unprovoked or she's doing these things unprovoked. You never heard a man say, man, she get on my damn nerves every time I leave the house. She called me, where are you at, when you coming back, who you with? He don't tell you he cheated on her 12 times. And now she, she don't trust him and now she's insecure. And whenever he's out having fun, she at home in a fucking panic thinking that he could be fucking somebody. She's really fucked up over that. Literally, psych, psyche is fucked up. And he's sitting here saying, she called me every few... He only tell half the damn story. They're like, yeah, she crazy behind you. No, man, you made that lady that way by the way you do her. Now, stop. Her calling you all those times, you know what she's feeling in her heart when she called you to check on you? You do know what she... She actually scared as hell. She actually don't want a heart, bro. She actually is in a place that, honestly, words can't even express. And what you saying is, damn, give me some, give me, give me some space, yo. Let me, you always buy, let me have some fun. Like, man, you the one that was cheating and got caught up. Like, 
you have to understand you created that. So if you go just tell that one sided, yeah, she looked like she's an insecure, um, you know, psychopathic, you know, clingy woman. But you're not telling the whole story. So ladies, when you say he don't talk to me like I want him to, he talks to me beneath my value. Share the whole story. Name all those times you failed him. Name all those times you said some crazy shit to him and you showed him you wasn't as weak as he and, and delicate like a flower like he thought you was. And he learned it. Okay, she ain't no fucking Daisy. I don't got to talk to her like she's a two-year-old. Oh, she got a smart ass mouth, so she can she can dish it out, right? So why am I going to be softer than her? Why am I going to sit here and tiptoe around my words when she not? She ain't got no boundaries. She say fucked up shit. So why wouldn't I say fucked up shit back? She got the big draws on. Now all of a sudden she's like, I can't believe how he talks to me. He used to didn't talk to me that way. He didn't used to talk to you that way. But he saw that you 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 weren't the type that you know that needed that needed that that needed him to uh, filter what he say. You the type that you can say whatever on your damn mind. So he felt like hell. She must can take it too. He didn't know you just got a smart mouth, but you still sensitive. He don't. That's not what he get from that. What he get is, she's tough. And that's how everybody feel when somebody getting fucking smart. They feel like they that you think you fucking tough. They feel like. You, that's what they feel like. I'm being real with you. Like, who you talking to? They feel like you think you fucking tough. We're not. We're not getting that. Well, if I if I give you back what you're giving me, it might really hurt you because really you sensitive and you can't take it. You, you know, you you really. Nah, no. They they respond back to who they think you are in that moment, and it's sad. And the whole the whole dynamic changes. He changes. He's not the same person that he was. And you don't know why and you're not speaking to all of it. If we would do that as people, man, we could realize that relationships as you as we know it could be better. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I ain't seen one man make a video about how dudes don't carry themselves trustworthy amongst other men. Where's the fucking loyalty? How come we don't hold each other accountable? How come we don't believe in each other's dreams and invest with each other? We keep saying women don't see men's value. Yo, men, can, are we really acting like we see each other's value? Look at how quickly we, we will end each other's lives. I hear people online have arguments ready to fucking meet up and fight, ready to fucking meet up and destroy each other. It proves that we don't value each other's lives. And I mean, these same two people were calling each other friends just a couple of weeks ago. I've done it myself. I've been there myself. In a moment's notice, a person that you love with all your heart, who you will go to the end of the world for is your friend, you would, you would turn into somebody who would be willing to take his fucking life over an argument. Yo, that, that can't be right. So do we value each other? Do we value what each other work for if we out here trying to steal each other's women? Do, do we value each other? We talking about she don't value us, man. We don't value us either. I, 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 I see this as like, we talk about this. When a woman get mad at a man, she come for his value. When we get mad at a man, we come for his value. We say, ah, damn, a man ain't shit if he ain't got bread, huh? And as soon as you mad at a man, you talk about how broke he is. So you kind of believe that too. Let's, if you didn't believe that, how come when you squeezed, that come out of you? And what's in you come out. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. If you don't believe that, why they come out of you? Women, when you say everybody beautiful, no body shaming. How come when you squeezed like a tropicana fruit, what comes out of you is the juice that's in you? Yeah, you ugly. You ain't got no body. You this, you that. To each other, to other women, you ain't got no hair. You you ain't got no this. You 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 black. You this. It's like your hair texture. I, they come for every little detail on each other when they mad. Ain't nobody on here can tell me I lie. I'm lying. So. Do, ladies, do you really value each other be outside of how y'all look? Like, are y'all really taking an assessment of how each other looks and placing value on that? Because it sounds that way when you're mad. Do y'all look at a woman who don't have a man and be like, yeah, she ain't shit. She ain't got a man. Is that on, or is that only when you're mad at him? Men, when you look at a man, do you say he ain't shit because he ain't wealthy? He ain't driving fancy cars. He ain't got a bunch of money. He broke. He ain't shit because he broke. Is that what you think or is that just something you say when you're mad? So everything we hate, we embody, family. Let's be fucking real. 
We embody everything we hate. Women are our reflection and we are theirs. It's easy for them to see it on us because they don't see themselves in us. We're men. So when we put those behaviors out, it's easy for them to see how detestable they are. And it's easy for us to see how detestable their behaviors are because most of them directly affect us. But we got to get to a point to where we hear what each other are saying. So we are, we each other's reflection, we each other's mirror, so we get the best look at each other. Sometimes we got to not not shoot the messenger and hear what they're saying. You, you can't see why women don't trust men. Now, men, I understand why you don't trust women. I'm a man. I can see it. It seemed like every woman and fuck, every woman who got a man to fuck around. It seemed like that. It seemed like they'll leave us for no fucking reason. It seemed like they'll use us even when they don't like us or care about us. It seemed like that. But just think about the men in your circle. Are they faithful? Are they loyal to the women that they that they date and that they married to? Just think about this. While we're looking at all these relationships where women apply for divorce. Women file for divorce. Women leave after all these years the men have poured in them. Think about the men that you know. Are they faithful? So if, if you really think about this, you'll say the same way women don't seem faithful, men don't seem faithful. You have to say that. And so you can see why women are saying like, yo, why I want to get married and depend on your ass? Because why would I allow you to take care of me so you can cheat on me? I don't have the money to leave. I'm stuck with you. If I leave, I lose my provider, my protector. I got to foot the bill for my own life all because you cheated. Now, I'd rather have my own money so I don't feel... Like I have to, like I need a man. You don't see what you don't see why she's saying that. Like, yo, I get it. You, she should need a man, just like you need a woman. You should find somebody that you can need. You, you get that, but don't you don't understand what she, where she coming from? Like, let's be real. If you, you wouldn't want that for your daughter. I mean, listen, you hear all these men, these daughters say, my daddy taught me to be that way. Wouldn't you want that for your daughter? You want your daughter to have her own. Just in case this man treat her crazy as hell, treat her dirty as hell, you don't want her stuck with this man because she ain't got no bread. So inadvertently, it's like, yeah, it is. I don't want you to need a man. But you do also want her to work with a partner and know that her future depends on him. So, yeah, you do need him, but not to the point to where you depend on him for his resources so you can't leave in a dire situation. It's two different needs. But are we, are we not teaching that? I wouldn't want to be vulnerable either like that if I was a woman. I ain't going to hold you. I would not want to give this man my my trust. I, I could give loyalty. That ain't no problem. You ain't got to worry about that. But give you my trust to depend on your work ethic, your will, to, to pay the way for my life? Bro, let me help you, bro. Let me go to work. I, I can't. Nah, hell nah. I, I can't. But I mean, I maybe I'm saying that as a man, but as a, I can see for a woman why she say, man, that's a crazy position to be in. Just because you're a woman and he wants your support, I got to kill my dreams. I want to do some shit too. Like, hell yeah, you can see that. You get that, right? And if, if all of that comes down to you do trust this person, you he, he footing the bill, you stay home, and then you find out he cheat on you. And now it's like, where can I even fucking go? I don't got nothing. Yo, that's a tough situation to be in. I ain't even going to hold you. So as men with daughters, as men with mothers, as men with sisters, we should understand where they're coming from and hear them and be like, okay, I get that. I get that. Nobody want to be cheated on. Don't try to justify. I'm a man, you know. I'm taking care of you. I should be able to do... Nah, stop that shit. Because you know cheating break hearts. Cheating erodes trust. You know that. So wh why would you even try to excuse it on any part? Stop. You, you can't You can't expect somebody to trust you and you telling them shit like that. I hate to be a woman and, and, and my man tell me cheating different because he a man. That's cr No, it ain't. Not, I, I feel my damn heart when it break when you cheat. You can't tell me it's different. You trying to put me under a spell. I, I ain't hearing none of that. It's great if you trust that man and he really is going to have that work ethic, that willpower, love you provide and really put in work. And because of your support for him, he goes out and gets the world for you. 
it's beautiful if that happens, but let's be real men. How many men you think are that loyal? How many men you think are that disciplined and dedicated? And you might say a lot, these nine to five workers. I'm not asking you to give me no statistic. I'm asking you how many men you know, because this, the women are telling you, man, the men I run into, they're not trying to be married and faithful and loyal and only be with you. They're going to fucking cheat on you somewhere. And this is what they are experiencing. And, and as men, we know a lot of men cheat. We, we know. And we like, I ain't saying women don't cheat. But I'm saying we, we, we can't just act like women don't cheat. And we as men don't understand why women say men cheat. Like, come on now. Statistically, it's about damn even. So we, we, we're idiots if we pretend that we don't understand where each other coming from. Women will try to say, well, I was lonely, or you neglected me, or I had this emotional need, or, yo, you cheated. That man's heart going to break the same way. You think it break less because you told him he worked too much. That's why you fucked somebody else. You think that he going to be like, oh, okay. I thought you just thought he was sexy. Uh, I'm glad I know it's just because I work too much. Let me ask for a day off. You, it don't hurt as bad after I know that. No, he's still devastated because you don't let somebody run up in you. What you talking about? He's still fucked up. It doesn't matter why you did it. But you want to tell them why. You think the narrative matter. All that matter is that you cheated on him. And then here he go thinking the narrative matter. He, I'm a man. I'm a, uh, I got a knee. I got a, you know, I ain't good. Dude, that ain't going to change how that woman feel. And your relationship about to be fucked up. If the result is the same, why argue over who's better or worse? If the result is the same, a broken relationship, eroded trust, hearts severed, people not looking at them same, themselves the same anymore, people blaming themselves for your infidelity, if the result is the same, how can you, how dare you argue who it's worse for when they do it? I mean, am I the only intelligent person on this panel right now? I think, I think, I think everybody on here right now got some brains to them because ain't nobody on here disagreeing with me. I'm just saying that. Just, I'm just saying that. I don't, I don't mean it. I know, I know that you guys are intelligent because you're not disagreeing. I'm looking at it. All I'm seeing is you guys saying, you tell them the truth. So let's stop the war between men and women. Let's make it a war on bad behavior, regardless of who it is. So the men that's cheating, if, if we as men don't have time for a cheating woman, we shouldn't have time for a cheating man in our space. That means he'll lie to you too. That means he's setting himself up for, 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 for turmoil down the road and you and this nigga life. So you want to be with him when some woman come from the side and ram, his, ram herself into his car? Because he want to sit here and play on the woman that he got at home? Like, come on now. The, if the behavior is that atrocious on a woman, it should be the same way on a man. And we're not truly being leaders in our community if we only holding women accountable to things like that. But our homeboys, it's cool. We men, you can cheat. It's cool. Hell no, that's crazy, bro. We're trying to create a world that your daughter's got to go out here and live in. We're trying to create a world that your sons can go out here and live in, ladies. Can you please consider that? And start start speaking up on these issues that women do as well? Because your son got to live out here in this world? And I think, you know what would be the, what would be, if I were karma, because karma don't care about me and what I got to say. Karma, it work in mysterious ways. <laughs> I hate to even put it like that, but it do. You don't look both ways before crossing the street. Karma could be you being fucking roadkill that, that 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 is not parallel to to the decision that you just made what just happened to you but that's karma but if i were karma i'd get you right where you getting everybody else okay the world you creating the the, the behaviors that you speak on that are okay i i i make that i make your child have to go through that with somebody so, so you be forced to look at it and tell the fucking truth because you, you're a liar. The truth ain't in you. So I got I to gotta make this happen to your own child, somebody you love with all your heart, so you will admit that shit is wrong. That if I were karma, I would haunt the fuck out of y'all. <laughs> soon as I see y'all validating good behavior, I'm coming for your kids. I'm coming for your mama, your daddy. Somebody about to get done just like that so you will admit that you capping and, and, validating, and validating bad behavior. Everybody would be scared to validate bad behavior because it's going to happen to your kids, yo. Whoever they dating going to do that shit to them, going to say that shit to them. Now you're going to have to admit that shit wrong. We're not, we're not, we're not going. No. <laughs> and I bet I had this world cleaned up. Give me, give me six months. Once people realize that that's what's happening, they'll, they'll chill the hell out and start being honest. Yeah, that's wrong. Yeah, bro. Uh, so, so hang on, bro. You told her you was hanging out with me. 
and went somewhere else. Yeah, I don't care how bad the girl was. That're wrong, bro. You done broke down the trust. You, you, you this lawyer, you could have got a kid out of this. Like you do, you would say all that shit to him that you would say to a woman. <laughs> That's what you would say. Cause you know if you say if you tell a lie and say and act like that shit cool, it's about to happen to you. Your girl about to do you exactly like if you like, bro. So let me see the girl you went and met last night that wasn't your girl. Oh, she bad, bro. She bad. So your karma gonna be. Your girl about to lie to you and tell you she gonna be somewhere else, and really she gonna be somewhere else, and she gonna fuck with some other dude, and it's gonna break your fucking heart. And now it's wrong. She a liar now. <laughs> she a liar, a cheater, a heartbreaker. <laughs> but when your homeboy told you to do that same thing to his girl, you laugh with him. You don't think you you don't think karma. You you don't think I'd be better karma than karma itself. Just think about that. Yeah, people don't understand what they bring on their kids and right back on themselves. They try they try to manifest a better world where they can um mag like you know magnetize good people to them, but they surrounded by bad people that they enable. Because they can't see how it hurts them. So if your homeboy cheating, you don't be on his ass. Pause. But if a girl cheating, oh, she a terrible per Like, man, listen. I think my point is being made. Until men, until women stand up and confront that bad behavior and her girlfriend, just like she do that dude, we're going to have problems, man. So you with a girl and she like, yeah, I got him to take me here, here and here. He bought me all of this and this and this. And I still didn't I still didn't give him. No, I ain't give him nothing. OK, oh, girl, you, you that's cold. You, that's that's dope. You got him to fly you out. You got all of that. But and soon soon as you get with a guy, because you, you don't you don't say he invalidated her behavior, right? So now a dude gonna walk up to you and tell you everything you wanna hear. He gonna be the guy of your dreams. As soon as you give him what he want, he gonna leave you with that. And now you're gonna be over here. He played me. He made me feel like he cared about me. He said he loved me. He said that he was gonna be with me forever and ever. We talked about having kids and everything. We talked about buying a house and everything. He gone. He gone. Man, this girl played me. She had like she was really feeling me. She in my face like it ain't no man that ever made her feel like I make her feel. As soon as I gave this girl my last damn dollar, she skated on me. You validated over here. So karma coming for that ass. I bet you won't validate it. I bet you will see this as an opportunity to prevent karma from happening because you know karma listening. I would, I would always be listening. I would always be, I would always respond. I'd be busy. Ain't nobody getting away. Nobody. I would be very consistent because I don't want people to start thinking that you, you can get away with shit. So every time you do some bullshit like that, I ain't going to be so much in the realm of you cross the street, you get hit type karma. I ain't going to care. I care about human behavior as in their relationships and how they treat each other. So as soon as your ass gaslight somebody, be prepared to get gaslit by the person that you care about and love. That's, hey, it is what it is. Karma. As soon as you cheat, your ass getting cheated on. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of those things where it's like, yo, bad behavior. Uh, you can't sit here and say, I don't want it to happen to me because what you're doing is you're making a request from to me that all your moves would be prayer. If I was karma. All your moves would be communication with me. So if you cheating, what you saying to me is, Kevin, I want to be cheated on. Because treat people how you want to be treated. If I were God, if I were karma, when you go cheat on your person, what you're saying to me is, I want to be cheated on. When you ignore your person when they in pain, what you're saying is, I want to be neglected. When you tell your person a lie to invalidate them because you don't want to be accountable to what you actually did, you're saying, I want to be gaslit. I want somebody to play with my motherfucking head. And I would answer your prayer every time until you learn how to treat people. And y'all would hate my guts, but I would only be y'all. I would only be a result of y'all. But y'all would hate my guts. 
Man, we better be grateful life ain't fair. Life ain't fair. We better be grateful life ain't fair. That's it, y'all. Share this, man. Share this with somebody. Stop the war against men and women. It's everybody. It's everybody, man. We need to turn around and start confronting all bad behavior. Let's truly be leaders, man. Let's truly speak out against what's wrong so we can see healthier relationships for our children. Yo, it's a lot on the line here. They got to hear the truth somewhere. We got the internet now. This is the we're not, we, we got an opportunity now where we can teach them in a way we never taught them before. Everyone was a victim of circumstance before the internet. You get taught by the people who raised you. God damn, they, they don't even sound like a fighting chance now because we was raised by no, no disrespect, but really, man, people who don't know a whole lot. Let's be real. Now we got an opportunity to speak life into the internet, and people can hear righteous teaching man something that can apply to everybody and bring something that's harmonic and wholesome to everybody what we're seeing right now is a manifestation of what we were taught as children raised by single mothers single fathers broken homes raised by people who were traumatized whipped by parents who was whipped by parents and justifying it because they were whipped by their parents and believing that they turned out okay because they're not in jail not even thinking about the psychological trauma of passing that on so you're very much not healthy because you're passing it on this is what we come from so now we have an opportunity to really be able to gather insight from from people that's outside of our um immediate matrix man so let's take advantage of it let's speak life into this internet so there can be a place to come to to get something wholesome because honestly, man, in everybody's home, there's chaos and there's struggles and people are going to create a way of navigating that, that works for them. And that don't mean that it's righteous. It means it worked for them. So you need to come out and get these non-biased opinions and, uh, and these under ways of understanding so you can help to honestly just lead a better life, man. I ain't even trying to be funny. So with that being said, family, consider what I'm saying and I'll get with y'all later. All right. Peace.